Good afternoon everyone. So the book I'm going to be reviewing for you today is Stone Cold by Robert Swindles. Now this young adult fiction text is quite old. Um, it was written in 1993 but don't let the age of the text put you off. Um, I think it's a highly relatable text for young readers and it introduces quite significant issues in a very very approachable way. Um, so primarily it follows a homeless boy, Link, through his time living on the streets of London. We see him start off as a very naive and trusting young boy. Um, but as we follow his story, we see him change and develop into a hardened young man, made bitter um, and much less trusting because of the constant trials and tribulations that he faces day after day while living on the streets of London. So Link really is the protagonist of this text and he's the one whose life we're really following. But Swindles has used a very exciting narrative technique called a dual narrative. And this allows us to experience things through the eyes of someone else. Um, so the perspective that we also look at, apart from just links, is a man named Shelter. Now, I'm not going to give you any spoilers here. I'm just going to say that Shelter is definitely not what you're expecting. The first time you meet him, he seems completely different. And there is a huge plot twist and everything goes crazy, there is suspense, there is tension, and Shelter is primarily the cause of this. So it's really interesting to see things from his perspective as well as Link's. Um, so ultimately, Link's story is one of exploitation and betrayal. There are some key moments that really demonstrate how awful conditions are for the homeless. So a particular quote that stood out to me was, once you got used to the smell, the whole thing was quite pleasant. It's amazing how resilient wooden planks feel after lying night after night on stone. Now, I think this sums up Link's gritty reality quite well. It shows us that he's so used to his life on the streets, he's so used to lying on cold, hard stone night after night, that something like smelly wooden planks, that to most people who haven't had that experience, would be awful that would be disgusting but for link who's used to something much worse that's actually pleasant to him <clears throat> so the text is quite a dark read but there are moments of friendship there are moments of love and humor and i think this really helps to keep a balance and make the text enjoyable rather than just harrowing um i think the contrast of perspectives is really an interesting device that allows suspense to build to such an extent that you're literally going to be on the edge of your seats. You'll be nervous, you'll be afraid, you'll be wondering what's going to happen next. Um, so Swindles has really used his technical ability well. Um, he controls readers' emotions, he evokes real empathy for the protagonist, Link. And as I said, it is a dark read, so some may find this text a little bit distressing. There are important and relevant issues of abuse, homelessness, mental health issues explored and discussed in varying levels of depth. Um, but overall, I would really strongly recommend Stone Cold. Um, there are elements of this book that really allow the young reader to empathise and understand a reality that I hope is different to their own. Um, it's a text full of suspense and tension but one that is also for the friendship and happy moments, even within the confines of Link's grim reality. Um, so I hope I've interested you in the book a little bit. It's a really, really great read. It's quite short, it won't take you very long. And the way that Swindles has developed the characters and made them relatable, I think really helps you to get the book finished quickly. It should only take you, well, one sitting really, or it depends how quick you read and how interested you are in it. But I think the length of the text is, is so short. Um, but Swindles have managed to pack in so much that I think you'll really, really enjoy it. And I would strongly, strongly recommend it. Um, so I hope you go ahead and read it. I'm very, very much looking forward to seeing your book reviews uh, on your vlogs. And yeah, I'm very excited and I wish you the best of luck. I can't wait to watch them, guys. Thanks very much.